Hello Cloudon fans! I would like to take you through a short demo of the Cloudon workspace now available on the iPhone. I have downloaded the app and will log in using my existing Cloudon account credentials. When you enter the workspace on the iPhone, you'll see the home screen where you can access your recent files and any storage services you're connected to. Notice I'm currently connected to Dropbox, but I can add Box, Google Drive, or SkyDrive by choosing the desired service, entering my credentials, and tapping Login to connect. When you tap the Cloud On button, you'll be presented with several actions you can take within the workspace. Tap Recent Files to access the files you most recently worked on. Create a new Word, Excel, or PowerPoint file by tapping New File and selecting the appropriate application. If you need help or have a suggestion for us, tap Feedback and Support. And you can check your connection, change your password, and manage your account by choosing Settings. Tap Home to return to the home screen at any time. To begin accessing and editing files, select a connected service and use the forward and back arrows to navigate through your folders until you find your desired file. Tapping this Word file opens it in reading mode. To edit, a single tap into the file activates the ribbon and brings up the keyboard to allow you to enter text. If you need more free space on your screen, you can dismiss the keyboard by tapping Done. To edit the font size, style, or color, simply highlight text by double or triple tapping the text, then use the font menu to apply your selection. To track the changes made in a document, tap the Review tab, select the Track Changes menu, and then tap the Track Changes button. As you make changes to the document, you'll see every edit being tracked, as expected. It's that simple. Once done editing, you can exit the file by tapping the navigation bar in the upper left corner. Press and hold on a file name to show the cut, copy, rename, delete, and email options at the bottom of the screen. To send this file as an attachment, select Email File, and then enter the email address of the recipient, add a short note, and tap Send. To move a file from one folder to another, press and hold on the file name and select Cut or Copy from the menu below. Navigate to the folder you would like to move the file to, press and hold on the folder name, and select Paste from the menu. To access the file space of a file, tap the File Space button to the right of the file name. The file space will display all of the actions and edits taken to this file. To add a note, type into the text bar at the bottom of the screen then tap the Note button to save the note to the file space. You can also open the file directly from the file space by tapping the file icon on the top left. The file will automatically open, allowing you to begin reviewing or editing. Once in Excel, begin editing by tapping anywhere in the file. Using the Home tab, you can change the format of any selected cells. Select the Insert tab to add additional rows or columns. To create a new file, tap the Cloud On icon, tap New File, choose an application, this time PowerPoint, and give the file a name. Insert the slide by tapping Click to Add First Slide, and then choose the Slide Layout and Design from the Home tab. Tap into the file to bring up the keyboard to begin entering text. Once finished, tap Done. To exit a file and return to the workspace at any time, tap the navigation bar. We hope this has given you a good introduction to CloudOn for iPhone. For additional tips and tricks, please visit us at help.cloudon.com.